Welcome to my garage. I have a fun package today from HRG, Honda Rescue Garage, I think that's what it stands for. Uh, this is something that HRG has made for Toyota 4Runners and other cars, but they did not offer for the CRV until now. And I was asking for it, I'm sure others were. By asking for it, I mean I was commenting on their Instagram posts that they need to make this for RD1 CRV. So they made it, and as I promised, if they make it, I'll order. And that is this Molly panel for the rear hatch window. So this is my first time seeing it in person. It is coated uh, with some grippy uh, protecting. This actually seems pretty awesome. Um, and it's thicker than I expected, so I see why it costs as much as it does. Um, and it's got this star for HRG. I only got the one, although they sell for left and right, because I did not want to cover the back right, where you look over your shoulder to see if you can merge. So I'm only gonna put it on the back, driver's side back where the driver can never see anyways. And then I'll be zombie protected from one side only and I can put uh, gear and cool stuff like that and then people will know how serious of a tactical off-road person I am. Uh, let's see if there's anything else to stain with. Oh. It comes with screws and a sticker and of course an invoice that has my address on it so I'm not going to show it to you. Uh, this should be a super quick easy install so let's uh, let's go do it. MOLLE stands for Moduli Modular Lightweight Load Carrying Equipment. If you clicked on this, you probably already knew that, but in case you're not familiar what it is, it refers to this type of these loops that allow you to attach tactical stuff like this bag so everyone knows how much of a badass you are. You can see there's these loops and there's all kind of accessories you can get that attach to this sort of webbing. Basically, you can use this the same way and attach stuff to it. And then I have these Velcro straps. This is not from HRG, this is just some Amazon that is designed to work with Molly so that you can attach things that don't have, nope, attach things that don't have these straps. You can attach them yourself and make your own. And what we're gonna be attaching is a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher. We're gonna go from there. Okay. So here's the panel again. Here's where it's going to go in this window. Uh, so a little test fit here. It looks like, huh? So these these two tabs line up and sit flush. This top one lines up and sits flush. These two do not, and this one doesn't. And uh, neither do those, which is kind of disappointing. If you look down here, you can see that this. The one that sits flush is at that angle, and this one is bent at that angle. And then these, I have to look at that again. This one lines up. This one doesn't even touch, so I can't tell. Uh, but let's see how it fits after I bend up these bottom ones and that top one a little bit. So this one is what we want this one to be like. So I'm going to start there. And I'm just going to put them in the vise. I have these nylon magnated joints so that it doesn't mar up, doesn't like scratch up the panel. And then I just try to, I'm just bending it so that it looks like it's straight with that. Okay, so that. Those are a little more congruent. Congruent, is that the right word? Similar? It's been a while. So, with that tab bent on the top, the top two are flush. The back two are both flush now, so it actually matches these. This one is close. This one is close, but not quite there. 
I'm gonna get in here. It's flush on three sides. And then this one goes, it needs to come out a little bit, and this one needs to come out a little bit more. So a little bit, a little bit more. So that one's a little bit. And our highly scientific a little bit. And now this one we're gonna do a little bit more. And I'm not going crazy here. I don't want to bend these, break these off, make them weak. And I don't want to crack and mess up this coating, but the coating, as you can see, is just fine from that. So we're in good shape. We have all points making good contact now. Now, if you haven't figured out by now, this install is not the most sophisticated in the world. We've got these big screws that go into here. And uh, they're not self-tapping. So we'll probably drill pilot holes. And uh, if you don't like drilling holes in your cars, this part in mod is not for you. But if you are about that life, then this might be kind of cool when it's done. Let's see. So we've got a Sharpie. It's not a real Sharpie. It's a pen though. And we're gonna mark these holes. All right, go ahead and like scribble to try to do the exact, yes, like that. Okay, so they're marked. Now we're gonna drill, point of no return. I mean, there's always return. You could replace this somehow. Hmm, metal's actually kind of far back there, so I guess we're not gonna go to the metal. I don't know how much weight we're gonna be able to hold on this. We'll see. Yeah, the metal is The metal's about that far away, so we're definitely not going into the metal, which I guess is what they intended. Uh, we're just gonna use the hardware they used. I would have preferred black screws, but we're gonna do what they obviously intended us to do because they probably tried this a couple of times. Probably had a plan. They didn't tell us the plan though, because there's no instructions. And since we're not going into the metal, you could have just yolo these into the plastic without pre-drilling, but it doesn't hurt to pre-drill. I'm not doing any of them tight yet. Just sort of tacking it in place. So now, they're all on there. I'm going to go tighten them all up. And of course, this is just plastic, so I'm not going to do too many uggas on here. Okay. So. All right. So I'm shaking the whole car right now. So that's a lot stronger than I expected and there's no rattle. So maybe they knew what they were doing with this. And with just a little bit of bending of these tabs, the fitment is, is pretty nice. So what are we gonna do with this? So we've got the Honda official, Honda first aid kit. I'll put a part number for this in the description. We're gonna, and we've got, so it comes with Velcro on the back. And then we've got this, molly deal here maybe right there so we want to go on these I'll have a link to this kit too I know I said that we were going to put a fire extinguisher on here, but I don't actually have something that I can safely put that up there where it wouldn't possibly become a projectile in an accident. So the fire extinguisher is going to stay right where it is. And we're going to put this molly pouch and we're going to fill it with these straps and put it up there. Okay. 
There you have it. The Molly panel by HRG. They of course make them for both sides. It's just a little bending and then it fits. It's super strong. I do really like this coating. It is nice and thick. This does not flex, right? You're not, this doesn't rattle or shake. So um, I'm impressed by the quality. Very cool. And I'm happy with how it looks and how it is felt. Uh, my one request, if someone from HRG watches this, should come with black bolts, not these zinc colored ones. Okay, so on this side, where I want to be able to look out the window sometimes when I'm driving and changing lanes, I have this 15 inch by 15 inch cargo net. This is something off Amazon, I'll have a link. I've got these D rings. So I'll be able to clip it up there and put something back there, a bag, whatever, uh, but also take it down when I'm not using it so I can see out that window. So let's install that. Cannot take credit, full credit for this idea. Mark Cram from the Facebook group did this first and you know, someone else probably thought of it, but uh, I made a video about it and I did it alongside the HRG panel. So it's gonna be uh, even cooler. Take advantage of the fact that it's already diamond shaped from shipping. So with the big 12 by 12 net, no 15 by 15 net, I put two bicycle helmets in there. I put the other two D rings and you can see how that goes. Uh, ironically, the only time I've actually used this is after a mountain biking crash and I was very glad to have it. So now I'll have it even more handy. That's it. These are installed. I have a little bit more cool storage space. Anybody walking by, like Forerunner owners, will know that I am cool and tactical just like them. Thanks for watching. See you next time.